Now at five, Milwaukee has one of the oldest and largest Juneteenth celebrations in the entire country. Hello, I'm Katie Crowther. Thanks for joining us today. Organizers expect about 60,000 people to show up throughout the day for the big celebration. Veronica Macias joins us live from MLK Drive with more. Veronica. Katie, good afternoon. Juneteenth marks a historic day in the African American community. It's when the last group of slaves were freed in Texas in 1865, and it's an occasion that's still celebrated today with festivals like this one all over the country. It's the 45th annual Juneteenth Festival. We celebrate when the last slaves found out they were free. To celebrate that freedom, the African American community comes together to show their unity and embrace their heritage and culture. These dancers with the Nefetari Dance Company performed in the festival's morning parade, showing off their moves rooted in African dance tradition, which their instructor says is not taught in schools. To keep the culture and so that the young people, we keep passing it on and on so that we don't lose it. The block party also includes lots of modern dancing and local food vendors. This street is also filled with tents set up by community outreach groups here to take the opportunity to address issues impacting the the African American community. 85% of all people in prison, men and women, come from fatherless homes. Coincidentally, this annual event landed on Father's Day. Leaders of my father's house in Milwaukee say fatherless homes are at the root of many epidemics facing black men. Too many of our children live in homes where there is no man or no father or no mentoring. And that is the result of what we get out here now with all of the crime. The fathers out here showing they care to change the challenges facing their city. Now this event was organized by the Northcott Neighborhood House. They provided their own security for all the people that turned out here today. There's also lots of Milwaukee police officers and a helicopter flying by making sure that the evening, the event, which ends in an hour, goes smoothly. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Veronica.